Get ready for an incredible and massive space event that could completely change how we see the universe. Betelgeuse, the huge red giant star near the edge of our galaxy, has started giving off strange signals that show it may be close to a major change. A red supergiant star called Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. And when it finally explodes in a supernova, the night sky as we know it will never look the same again. Betelgeuse sits in the constellation Orion and is one of the brightest and most recognizable stars in the sky. It's the reddish point that marks the shoulder of Orion the Hunter, and it's been observed for centuries. At roughly 700 light years away, Betelgeuse is relatively close in astronomical terms. That proximity is what makes it so intriguing and so important. This isn't just about a star dying. It's about witnessing an event so rare and powerful that it could rival the brightness of the full moon, be visible during the day for weeks, and outshine every other star in the sky for months. For astronomers, it's a cosmic spectacle. For humanity, it could become the most visually stunning astronomical event of modern times. To understand why Betelgeuse is so significant, we need to take a closer look at what kind of star it is. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, a massive star in the late stages of its life. Stars like our sun burn hydrogen for billions of years, fusing it into helium and releasing energy. But Betelgeuse is many times more massive than the sun. It burns through its fuel at a furious rate. Over its short life, just a few million years, it has gone through hydrogen, helium, and now heavier elements like carbon, neon, and oxygen. The heavier the element, the faster it burns. Eventually, iron will begin to accumulate in the core. Iron is a problem. It doesn't produce energy when fused. It consumes it. As iron builds up, the star can no longer support its own immense weight. Gravity wins. The core collapses in a fraction of a second. And what follows is one of the most powerful explosions in the universe. A core collapse supernova. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, the collapse will create a shock wave that tears the star apart. Enormous amounts of energy and stellar material will be blasted into space, lighting up the cosmos. From Earth, it will be impossible to miss. Depending on how the explosion unfolds and how much dust and gas are in the way, Betelgeuse could become brighter than any star we've ever seen with the naked eye. It might appear as a blazing point of light in Orion, completely outshining its familiar neighbors. For weeks, maybe months, it could be visible during the day. At night, it would cast shadows. It would dominate the sky like a second sun. Imagine stepping outside at midnight and seeing a brilliant light where darkness once reigned. For ancient civilizations, this would have been seen as a divine omen. For us, it's a rare chance to witness the death of a giant star in real time. But don't worry, this explosion poses no danger to Earth. Despite how dramatic it will appear, Betelgeuse is far enough away that the radiation and material from the supernova won't reach us in any harmful way. It's the perfect distance, close enough to observe in stunning detail, but far enough to be completely safe. In fact, this could be one of the best studied supernovae in history, thanks to our modern instruments and technology. What's even more fascinating is that this event might already have happened. Light takes time to travel. If Betelgeuse is 700 light years away, then any changes we see now actually occurred 700 years ago. It's possible that Betelgeuse has already exploded and the light just hasn't reached us yet. Every night we look up, we're looking into the past, watching a version of Betelus that no longer exists. When the light from the explosion finally arrives, it will be like opening a time capsule from the Middle Ages. Astronomers have been watching Betelgeuse closely for signs that the end is near. In late 2019 and early 2020, something strange happened. The star dimmed dramatically, much more than usual. It lost more than half its brightness, and people began to speculate. Was this the beginning of the end? Could we be witnessing the final days of Betelgeuse? As it turned out, the dimming was caused by a massive ejection of material that temporarily obscured the star. It wasn't the supernova event, but it was a reminder that Betelgeuse is unstable and its end could come at any time in a thousand years, 100, or even tomorrow. We simply don't know. What we do know is that it's coming. Astronomers use a variety of tools to keep tabs on Betelgeuse, optical telescopes, infrared sensors, radio observatories, and space-based instruments like the Hubble Space Telescope and James Webb. 
These tools help them monitor the star's temperature, brightness, and spectral lines. Every wobble, pulse, or dimming event is scrutinized for clues. The hope is that when the moment finally arrives, we'll be ready to catch it from the very first second. One of the things scientists are especially interested in is the neutrino burst that will come from the supernova. Neutrinos are nearly massless particles that pass through almost everything. And during a core collapse, an enormous flood of neutrinos escapes the star's core. These particles travel faster than light does through the outer layers of the star. So neutrino detectors on Earth will be the first to know when Betelgeuse explodes. We could get a few hours warning before the visible light hits, giving telescopes a head start. Even after the light show fades, the remnants of Betelgeuse's explosion will linger for centuries. A supernova remnant, a cloud of glowing gas and dust, will expand into space, enriching the cosmos with heavy elements. This material will eventually become part of new stars, planets, and maybe even life. Every atom of gold, silver, and uranium on Earth came from supernovae like this one. Betelgeuse's death will contribute to the ongoing cycle of cosmic creation. And then there's the night sky itself. Once the explosion dims and the dust settles, Betelus will be gone. Orion's shoulder will be missing a star. A piece of our cultural and astronomical history will vanish, replaced by a lingering nebula where a giant once stood. Future generations will look up and see a different Orion, missing one of its most iconic features. Star charts will be updated. The stories we tell will change. And all of us alive today might be among the only humans ever to remember what Orion looked like before the supernova. This isn't just about one star dying. It's about a transformation that spans science, history, and human experience. The last time a nearby supernova was visible to the naked eye was in 6004 before the telescope was even invented. That event, known as Kepler supernova, was recorded by astronomers across Europe and Asia, but its light faded long ago. Betelgeuse promises something even more spectacular, and we now have the tools to capture it in exquisite detail. Modern observatories will monitor the explosion across the entire electromagnetic spectrum from gamma rays to radio waves. Satellites will track high-energy particles. Ground-based telescopes will photograph the expanding shock wave. Amateurs with backyard equipment will capture images to share online. This won't just be a scientific event. It will be a global experience, a moment where people from all walks of life look up and witness the same brilliant phenomenon. A reminder that we are all passengers on the same small planet orbiting an ordinary star, watching the universe unfold in real time. In the classroom, Betelgeuse's supernova will be a teaching moment unlike any other. Students will learn about stellar evolution with a living example. Scientists will write papers, analyze data, and refine their models. Space agencies might even use the event to test instruments for detecting other supernovae across the universe. And for everyone else, it will be a story passed down, a time when the stars shifted and we were there to see it. But Betelgeuse isn't just significant because of what will happen. It's also a window into understanding how stars live and die. The life cycle of a star is deeply connected to the existence of everything around us. Stars forge the elements, distribute them through explosions, and seed new generations of celestial objects. Our solar system is built from the remnants of long-dead stars. Every breath we take, every drop of water, every cell in our bodies contains atoms created in stellar furnaces. When we talk about Betelgeuse going supernova, we're witnessing the next chapter in a process that began long before our planet even existed. In a strange way, the death of Betelgeuse is also a celebration of cosmic continuity. It marks the end of one chapter, but signals the beginning of another. Somewhere in the distant future, the elements scattered by this supernova might form a new solar system, perhaps even one with life. Maybe one day, intelligent beings on a planet not yet formed will look up and detect the expanding cloud of Betelgeuse's remnants and wonder what it looked like when it first exploded. Right now, Betelgeuse is still there, visible on clear nights as a reddish glow on Orion's shoulder. But astronomers believe we are in the final countdown. In cosmic terms, that could mean a few thousand years, or it could mean any day now. The uncertainty only adds to the anticipation. We're on edge, watching, waiting, and when it finally happens, 
it will be unlike anything we've seen in our lifetime. There's also the philosophical weight of such an event. As humans, we often think of the night sky as fixed, eternal. The stars seem timeless compared to our fleeting lives. But Betelgeuse reminds us that change is constant, even among the stars. The sky is not a static backdrop. It's alive, dynamic, evolving. We just live too briefly to notice most of those changes. The explosion of Betelgeuse will compress millions of years of stellar evolution into a single observable moment. It's also a chance to reflect on our place in the universe. We are intelligent beings who can not only observe the cosmos, but predict its changes. We understand nuclear fusion, gravitational collapse, and the physics of stellar death. We can explain what's about to happen with mathematical precision and scientific confidence. That's extraordinary. For most of human history, a sudden bright light in the sky would have triggered fear or awe without explanation. Today, we anticipate it, prepare for it, and get ready to study it. Even the mythologies connected to Beetle Jews carry weight. In ancient times, Orion was seen as a mighty hunter. Cultures around the world have woven stories around this constellation. When Betelgeuse goes supernova, those stories gain a new chapter. The hunter will lose a shoulder, but in its place will be something new. A nebula, a memory, a testament to change. One day, perhaps not too far from now, someone will look up at Orion and say, there used to be a star there. They'll point to the nebula glowing faintly where Betelgeuse once stood and know they are seeing the afterglow of a cosmic death. They'll read accounts, watch videos, and hear stories of the time Betelgeuse lit up the sky and captured the attention of the entire world. And maybe they'll feel what we feel now, a mix of awe, humility, and anticipation. When Betelgeuse explodes, it won't be just another astronomical event. It will be a turning point. The night sky will change. Our understanding of stellar death will deepen and humanity will witness something truly extraordinary. A supernova visible to the naked eye. A red giant's final act. A light from the past finally arriving at our doorstep. The countdown continues. And one day soon, the universe will put on a show like no other. Until then, we watch, we wait, and we wonder what it will feel like the night Betelgeuse becomes brighter than the moon and the stars rearrange themselves before our very eyes.